So what we have here is a robot that plays chess. And at a high level, the goal is not obviously to have a robot that plays chess with a human, although that's you know a lot of fun, but rather to have a robot that interacts gracefully with a human. So we're working in the same space. You have the robot and I, you can see when I stick my hand in, the robot is reacting to the fact that I'm in the way and isn't going to move and get in my way. But at the same time, when I make changes, like I, I make a chess move, um, the robot can detect that and make decisions about what to do based on that. The high-level goal for that is to have a robot that is helping with tasks, you know, maybe assistive care or maybe in the workplace, maybe at a soldering bench or a messy lab bench or in the home on cooking tasks, you know, sewing, whatever you need an extra set of hands for. But it's doing it without having a well-defined, here is the single thing that the robot knows to do. Instead, as I move around doing things in here, um, you can see that the robot is parsing what I'm doing and trying to take an appropriate response action. So if I take this piece, um, I can't control what the robot is doing. I'm not trying to control what the robot is doing. But there's a real possibility that I, the robot will then do a capture of my queen in the same way as if I pick up a soldering iron and, you know, white a piece of wire. From D3 to E4. Black pawn takes white queen. The robot might pick up the other piece of wire and bring it in near so that I've got, you know, in essence, a third hand without having to do a lot of effort myself to control the robot, which is, you know, potentially harder than just getting a clamp set up. So this camera mounted on the top of a robot is what we call a depth camera. So not only can it see uh, the colors, you know, the way a standard camera does, but it's also getting depth information for, in the field view, how far away is everything. So if I put my hand in there, you can see it getting darker as it goes down, because it knows it's getting closer to the chessboard. And if you look at this visualization, that's what the robot actually sees for the pieces. So it can adjust for how far away they are, the fact that some of them aren't perfectly centered, the different heights of the different pieces. And we take advantage also a little tiny camera in the palm of the robot for up-close detail work. So when it gets really bright in, it can see more clearly exactly what it's interacting with.